Do I look like a rapper yet? Hey, what up you guys? It's your girl Chrissy back with another video. So, today is Friday and you guys might be thinking, why are you dressed like with the hoodie, your hair like this, dark lipstick? Well, that's because today I'm going to be reacting to Eminem's Donald Trump freestyle video. Apparently he filmed, well not filmed, but this video was at, I think the beginning of the BET Hip Hop Awards. That's what it says here on YouTube. So that's what I'm going to be reacting to today. So if you guys want to see my reaction, stay tuned. Okay, so I'm going to scooch over. It's number six on trending on YouTube and it has over 26 million views. So let's get to it. <laughs> It's the calm before, before the storm, right, storm right, here. right here. Wait, Wait how was I going to start this off? I forgot. I forgot. He actually looks oh, good. yeah. That's an that's awfully hot, hot coffee, coffee pot. pot. Should I drop it on Donald Trump? Probably not, not but that's all I got till I come up with a solid. Oh, it's bleeped because it was on the TV show. Got a, got a plan and now, and now I got a hatchet like a, like a damn Apache, Apache with a tomahawk. With a tomahawk. I'm I'ma walk inside a mosque on Ramadan and say a prayer that every time talks. talks. Wow. She gets she a mop. Ah. I'ma stop. I'm a stop. But we better give Obama props, cause what we got in office now's a kamikaze that'll probably cause a nuclear holocaust. And while the drama pops and he waits for shit to quiet down, he'll just gas his plane up and fly around till the bombing stops. Why do people say it's aggressive? Well, he is an aggressive guy, so. Intensity's heightened. Tensions are rising. Trump, when it comes to giving a shit, you're stingy as I am. Except when, Except when it comes to having the balls to go against me, you hide them. Because you don't got the nuts like an empty asylum. Racism's the only thing he's fantastic for. Because that's how he gets his rocks off and he's orange. Yeah, sick tan. That's why he wants us to disband because he cannot withstand the fact we're not afraid of Trump. Walking on eggshells, I came to stomp. That's why he keeps screaming, drain the swamp, because he's in quicksand. It's like we take a step forwards, then backwards. But this is his form of distraction. Plus, he gets an enormous reaction when he attacks the NFL, so we focus on that. And instead of talking Puerto Rico with gun reform for Nevada, all these horrible tragedies, and he's bored and would rather cause a Twitter storm with the Packers. Yeah. We all remember that. Then says he wants to lower our taxes. Then who's going to pay for his extravagant trips back and forth with his fam to his golf resorts and his mansions? Same shit that he tormented Hillary for and he slandered. Then does it more from his endorsement of Bannon, support for the Klansmen, tiki torches in hand for the soldier that's blacking, comes home from Iraq and is still told to go back to Africa, forking a dagger in this racist 94 year old grandpa who keeps so ignoring insane, our past honestly. historical deplorable factors. Now if you're a black athlete, you're a spoiled little brat for trying to use your platform or your stature to try to give those a voice who don't have one. He says you're spitting in the face of vets who fought for us, you bastards. Unless you're a POW who's tortured and battered because to him you're zeros because he don't like his war heroes captured. That's not disrespecting the military. That. This is for Colin. Ball up a fist. And keep that shit ball. Like Donald the bitch. Yeah. He's going to get rid of all immigrants. 
He's going to build that thing up taller than this. Well, if he does build it, I hope it's rock solid with bricks. Because like him in politics, I'm using all of his tricks. Because I'm throwing that piece of shit against the wall till it sticks. Go, Eminem. Yes. And any fan of mine who's a supporter of his, I'm drawing in the sand a line. You're either for or against. And if you can't decide who you like more in your split, on who you should stand beside, I'll do it for you with this. You. The rest of America, stand up. We love our military, and we love our country. But we hate Trump! Yep. Trust me, I do. So if you watched my channel from the beginning, well, since April, I should say, I have not been a fan of Trump. I have not voted for Trump. Be what, And I agree with everything Eminem says. I really do. Like, how is this man even our president? Like, I'm not going to be rude. If you're a subscriber of mine, you know, thank you so much for being a subscriber. Like, it's really nice that you are and that you watch my videos. But if you're with Trump, then I really don't know what to say. Like... You know what? Your opinion is your opinion. I'm going to respect that. And everybody has a different mindset when it comes to politics. Personally, when I heard Donald Trump was going to become president, I was like, ha ha ha, yeah, right. Like the guy that's on the Celebrity Apprentice owns hotels, please. And then when I saw... Oh, like, I'm running for president, and, oh, this is my campaign, and, like, it was actually true. I did not believe it until October of, like, last year when the debates started going on. I was like, oh, no, this is actually happening. Why, 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 why? Well, just, why? Thing, too, with the immigrants, my family, they came to... America as immigrants. Some of them have their green cards, like as permanent residents to stay and their citizenships. And some of them have green cards, but without citizenships. And we all know that green cards can expire. I remember that my grandfather, he's not a citizen, but he does have a green card. And it's actually expired firing soon and he was like no Trump no Trump no 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 and he was like really petrified and he was like Jesula like please tell me he's not gonna be our president and I was like I hope not <laughs> but everything can come as a surprise I don't know and then Election day came, he was nominated, I mean he won, and I've never seen my grandfather so upset in my entire life, and more scared. Even my father too, like I got a text from him and he was like, it's real, because my father, he is on a visa. He doesn't have a permanent green card. He's on a working visa and family visa. And I think that's expiring soon too. And that's another thing that's freaking him out. And that's freaking a lot of people out. And it's a really scary thing. Like the immigrants part. Like I totally understand about that. Now moving on to Eminem. Every single word I think I said this he, as he said, is true. Well, rap, I should say. And it's so cool how him and rappers in general, when they freestyle, 
everything like comes to their mind so quickly and they just spit out words like they're really smart people Eminem I've watched the documentary I've only watched part four the final part of the defiant ones and it was really really good I enjoyed it I thought it was a good show it showed how basically Dr. Dre signed Eminem, and then Eminem signed 50 Cent, and then how they became this one huge record label. I recommend you go see it. It's on, I think, either Showtime or HBO, but I think it was HBO. It was really good. I recommend it. He's a smart guy, Eminem. He is really talented. He's amazing, and he is literally fight me or not on this I think no I don't think I know Eminem is the best rapper of all time sorry fight me on that but it's true so that's it for today's video if you guys enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up comment down below of your thoughts on this video what you thought of it do you like Trump do you not like Trump? What do you think of Eminem in this freestyle? Personally, I thought it was cool. I loved it. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I love you guys and I'll see you soon with another video.